Nearly three quarters of the goods we consume are carried on our nation's highways. Trouble is, there aren't enough people to drive the trucks to make the deliveries. Money editor John Delano has warned how the shortage could end up costing all of us. Essential in getting the goods we need from here to there. But local trucking companies say the national shortage of truck drivers is hitting home. We see it on a, on a daily basis as we try to fill open positions for drivers. How bad is it? It's, uh, it's getting worse. Brian McGuire hires truck drivers for locally based Pitt, Ohio. We have open positions right now we cannot fill. He's hardly alone. 50,000 drivers are needed by the end of this year, a number that could triple in 10 years. Demographics are behind the shortfall, but so is the lifestyle, truckers will tell you. It's a hard life. I mean, you know, I got a 36 inch box that I'm sleeping in in the back of my truck most nights. At Elite Transit Solutions, Brian Blunkowski and his colleagues find the cheapest way to transport goods for their clients. And he says the driver shortage is exacerbated by new regulations about to take effect. Truckers will be regulated to only be on the road for approximately 10 hours at a time. After that 10 hours, they will have to rest for 10 hours, which means their production will go significantly down. So the need for more truck drivers will only increase. One local Teamsters official told me that if 100 people showed up with a Class A commercial driver's license, they'd be hired right now today. And here's the other consequence. With 70% of our goods transported on these highways, a driver shortage means higher prices for us at the store. I think if they want to hire more drivers, they're going to have to increase the pay. And that means only one thing. Somebody has to pay the cost of that, getting that freight to the final destination. And if it costs you more to hire and haul, the end result is higher cost for the rest of us. It has to be passed along, yes. John Delano, KDKA TV News.